Alright, here's how SummerSlam should happen. Cody couldn't get the job done at WrestleMania against Roman. So, I think... Not a Night of Champions. Well, obviously now, because uh, Roman and Solo are going against Sammy and KO. For the undisputed tag titles, I can't wait. Oh my god, Night of Champions, I think, will be the best... PLA of the year, bro. Even, I think, I, not better than WrestleMania or Backlash. Bro, Backlash was wild. I think Backlash might, hear me out, it might be better than Night 1 of WrestleMania. I can't remember the exact card of WrestleMania. Whatever the Rhea Ripley match was, and whatever the uh, Triple Threat match was, I, oh, the matches were banging, bro. <laughs> and enough of that, though. Here's how I think SummerSlam should go. So Roman should get defeated for the undisputed uh, Universal World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam, and Cody Rhodes is winning it. Um, because hear me out, Roman would have reached above a thousand days as Universal Champion. I think that's enough. And above 500 days as WWE Champion. And holding them both at the same time. That's like enough of a record, bro. To like set you as a WWE legend for life. If you're retired right now. Obviously, I don't know. No, that Roman, I'm not telling you to retire, please. Um, he, he definitely has like, I would say, 10 more years left in him. Maybe not. If, if not that, then five. At, at least three left. And three is enough for me. Five is enough for me. Any amount above a uh, three or above is fine with me. If he gets cut short by an injury, I'm actually gonna be so angry. <laughs> enough, enough for me, fanboying over Roman though. <laughs> yeah, he should dethrone Roman because he has a lot of the crowd. Unless he turns heel by then, which he probably won't. Maybe with like I don't know against Brock or something. He might use like low blows or whatever. I think that feud should have ended by then, and by that point, I think Gunther, sadly, I th oh, no, 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 I think Gunther will probably use it, like, lose it at, like, Extreme Rules or something, or, like, Hell in a Cell, has that already happened? I don't know the order of shows, bro, <laughs> but I think you should use, uh, the Gunther should lose the Intercontinental Championship at Extreme Rules. Um, I think Austin Theory should be dethroned by someone. I, th I don't know, bro. It, I would say probably like one of. Mm, that's tough. I think Gunther, if he gets dethroned, I think it should be by Solo Sokoa. And Austin should be dethroned at SummerSlam. He should be dethroned. By a returning Randy Orton, it should be a straight up squash match, not even close. Also, Randy needs to hit Natan down, and then that will be a, like five star match already. <laughs> like now, if the match legit starts with Austin running at him, Randy catches him midair, lifts him up, hits the Natan down, and gets the win like that. I, I wouldn't complain, bro. I'm fine with that. So yeah. Also on the SummerSlam match card, I think this should be Brock Lesnar versus. Oof, wait, no, no, no. Who should win the money in the bank? Whoever wins the money in the bank should cash in um, on Randy Orton. But, and I think whoever should win, uh, I think. Um, it should probably be Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens should win Money in the Bank. Or Finn Balor. Um, and yeah, if it's Finn, if it's any of those, if it's any of those three, then I'm fine with them cashing in and winning against Randy Orton. But, but Randy Orton should have a feud with them and then... Um, He'll get a rematch because obviously the cash in it wasn't fair. Blah blah blah. Um, he cash in wasn't fair. 
So they have a rematch, and Randy should win. I don't care whoever it is. Sammy, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, absolutely anyone. Unless it's Shinsuke. Because <laughs> I, I love Shinsuke. Shinsuke, one of my favorite. Like, very underrated in my opinion. Everything about, like, his finishers, his signatures, his overall moveset is just the type of style I like. Like, rough, meaty, gruesome, you know, getting all in their faces. Like, a true fighting, like, style. I, I like it, like, street fighting style. Obviously, you no know, biting low blows or, like, scratches pulling hair bites or anything like that then hell no but um i think roman should get dethroned in the main event and seth he's definitely winning the world heavyweight championship seth should have a match with um he should have a match with um aj styles and retain um, but the women's matches, I would say, Becky, Trish, whoever it is else, I don't care, definitely not Trish now, uh, Becky and Lita, I think, maybe, should, um, have a match against Damage Control, uh, with Bailey and Dakota Kai, and, um, I think Becky Lynch and Lita should retain the women's tag team championships. Then I think, um, yeah, no, no, no. And then I think for the, I think Rhea, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair should trade titles. Yeah, because Bianca's already uh, reached the. Becky Lynch's record of the Raw Women's Championship. I think all, all, like all of the like highest championships, even SmackDown Women's Championships and NXT Women's Championships of the modern era. So, props to her for that. But yeah, she's on she's on SmackDown. Rhea's on Raw. They should swap titles because it just makes the most sense. Um. Also, Cody needs to split. The Universal and WWE Championship, bro. It needs to happen, bro. No, Roman's ain't gonna do it. Roman ain't gonna do it. If he drops the WWE Championship any day, I'm fine with that. As long as his Universal Championship reaches a thousand days, I'm fine with that. But, but, hey, yeah. Also, 500 plus days is undisputed champion is insane, bro. More than a year. Absolutely smashed out the park for Roman. Um, like obviously, I think he should drop it then because it would just make the most sense. Um, also, uh, when Becky and Rhea swap titles, I think somebody's music could hit. Like I don't know, either Rhea's or Bianca's um, rival at the time, their music should hit. And just as they turn their backs to each other, um, their rival should attack whoever their rival is. So, like, if Bianca had a rivalry with, like, I don't know, Bailey or something, Bailey would come out and attack Bianca. But I think, I think it would mo like mostly make sense if um, a baby face came. Like, Rhea, I would say, probably injured, like. Raquel Rodriguez or something, and then Liv Morgan comes out and hits Oblivion on um, Rhea and like like hits her. And you, she's just punching her to the face, and then Bianca tells her to stop. She doesn't listen, and eventually Bianca lifts her up. Yeah, and then she asks her what the hell she's doing. Liv slaps her, um, and. Liv gets her up on the ropes, is about to hit her into oblivion, but at the last second, Bianca lifts her up, KOD, boom, that, that's how I think it should end, and it should end with, um, on the next PLE, uh, uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan teaming up, and win winning the Women's Tag Team Championships, then challenging Bianca Bella 
and Rhea Ripley. I'm not sure whether like it can have intertwined like a, a SmackDown superstar and Raw superstar holding them. I'm not sure about that. If there is, that's how it should be. Also, I think Bobby would should win Money in the Bank. I wouldn't be mad about that either. Um, but I think during Cody's match, um, I think cool interference. Yeah, I think it should be no holds barred between Roman and Cody. I think a cool interference would be with Brock. Brock um gets uh Cody up and hits an F5. Uh, the Usos are just watching. Brock asks them what the hell they're looking at. And then uh, Roman says they're looking at you, like and he says it like in a weird tone, like an attitude. He, he's he's uh, Brock is about to get in the ring. Uso stop him. He lifts Jay up F five before um, Jimmy is about to hit a super kick right into his uh, right to his legs. No, well, that's not really a super kick. A super like a kick to his legs. He lifts him up, spins him around, gets him up, F5, goes into the ring. Before he can do anything though, Roman lifts him up and hits an F5 on Brock. I think that would be an absolute, like, like that. That would be a five-star, like, an OMG moment, bro. Like a 2K19 OMG moment. <laughs> Something like that. Um, I think there should definitely be multiple, like, interferences. If I booked SummerSlam, it would definitely be better than, um, I think, I think it would definitely be better than WrestleMania, or WrestleMania Backlash, actually no, probably better than WrestleMania Backlash, but that's it. Also, how Cody should split up the Universal and the WWE Championship, I think Cody should put the Universal Championship back on SmackDown. And keep the WWE Championship on. Wait, no, I don't make no sense. No, no, no. He should leave the Universal and the WWE Championship on um, SmackDown. So technically, Cody held them for less, like a few hours, I think, because it'll add more salt to the wound, I think. I think like an official should say it or something like, bro, now nah, if Triple H said it, and then Triple H and him had a match at like next year's Wrestlemania or something insane like that, that would be insane. I think they should have a match at Hell in a Cell though, if they do get into a rivalry. If Triple H versus Cody and Hell in a Cell would be amazing, or Extreme Rules, I wouldn't mind. Um. Also, I think... Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. That's how I think it should happen. Hope you enjoyed my match cards, guys. Bye bye!